I'm Africa Harrigan for Legit TV. I'm in downtown Charlotte Amali at Rare Earth Studio, who is hosting a Queen Conch Shell carving workshop. Virgin Islanders are having an opportunity to learn how to make jewelry and carve different things out of the Queen Conch Shell and other shells. Virgin Islands residents came out to glean from the wealth of knowledge taught by Professor Crescendo Gaglioni from Italy. Who explained the history of making jewelry using natural resources and shared techniques on how to carve the Queen Conch shell. Here with me is Professor Crescendo Gaglione to my right. And to my left, we have Alfonso Vitiello. So how this would work is I'm going to ask him a question and he is going to interpret it for us. All right. So the question is, considering that this is your first time in the Virgin Islands, what is your main goal in sharing your wealth of knowledge with participants today? Uh, lei ti sta chiedendo, è la prima volta che tu vieni nel, nelle Virgin Island e che cosa ti aspetti per questo stage che noi stiamo facendo qua? Allora, è la prima volta che uh, arrivo e, e arrivo assieme a una ditta prestigiosa di Torre del Greco e desideravo da tempo essere presente qui in questa terra che ha dato tanto ai torresi, ha dato soprattutto materiale su cui fare la nostra attività, la conchiglia uh, sardonica, la cassis Madagascarensis con cui si realizzano i cammei e la Strombus Gigas, la, una conchiglia rosa con cui si realizza una, un cammeo bellissimo, molto delicato, di colore rosa. Ok, il professor dice che è il primo time che viene in uh, Virgin Island, grazie a me e alla mia compagnia, e lui vuole solo dare un special thanks a Virgin Island for, because we have used a lot of your shell like the Strombus Gigas and now we are here to support you know the Virgin Island people especially the young people and 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 and, and all of the business in this island. What inspired Rare Earth Studios to host the Queen Conch Carving Workshop? We've been very interested in this uh, since we started this program seven years ago but more recently uh, that we had the pleasure of working with Senator Cole on the legislative process of having the Queen Conch Strombus Giga named as the official seashell of the Virgin Islands. And that excited us more so these Alfonso that we've been just communicating with for six years and we decided now's the time to make this happen. Can you explain to me the thought process behind creating the Virgin Islands Masters? Our goal is to bring in masters such as Professor Crescento from other places in the world who have history, I mean tradition, history of creating different items and we want to ultimately have our own Virgin Islands Masters program here so that people here will become masters. The Queen Conch Carving Workshop is divided into three segments. First, participants partake in a history and business discussion held in a rare earth studio classroom. He stayed in the, 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 the photo. Yeah. The then they proceed to cut the shell into workable pieces. Lastly, participants work at individual stations to begin carving and designing their jewelry. This is an example of jewelry that was made using pieces from the Queen Conch shell. From a business perspective, what type of opportunities are there? I think this is a great program for the Virgin Islands because the jewelry making business is a great business. Uh, we already have a lot of jewelry stores where we import this uh, jewelry and we export the monies that comes in. I think from a business perspective for a Virgin Islander, this is a booming business that no one has been able to identify until now. And I think that the opportunity that we have to learn a new type of um, structure for the jewelry industry, which is cameo carving, um, that is extremely important because we have a lot of creative minds within the territory who are able to take that business and just make it grow and, and open their own business. Or, you know, just being able to do it on, as a hobby, that already gives you an opportunity to continue growing that as a business. How is this workshop beneficial to your business? 
Well, I would say it's beneficial to the business because it's a lot of knowledge to be learned in creating stuff on conch shells, which is something new to the Caribbean right now. And, um, you know, it's a wide horizon of, you know, knowledge coming from these gentlemen from Italy. And it's good for the Caribbean now to have something of their own. What advice would you give to Virgin Islanders who haven't had an opportunity to participate today? Well, they're losing a lot, a lot, a lot of knowledge, you know, in learning from your own products locally, that you can create things with, without having the expense of having it shipped or waiting for it to come when you can create it yourself. What would you say is the main piece of information that you learned today that you would like to share with others? Well, we have conks in the back shelf of our islands and we never really paid attention to them. We just take the meat, eat it, and dispose the shell. Now that we have this knowledge that we can use the shell for other stuff, now we won't be disposing those shells. We'll be utilizing them for other future references. The 30th legislature passed Bill Number 30-0134 naming the Queen Kong shell the official seashell of the Virgin Islands. Rare Earth Studio integrates the Caribbean Islands special heritages, cultural resources, artistic and creative assets in an education program cultivating in this unique cooperative marketing approach. Thank you for joining us at Rare Earth Studio who's hosting the Queen Kong Carving Workshop. I'm Africa Harrigan for Legit TV.